Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to model a situation with a graph. While there's many different types of graphs, I've always liked bar graphs, which have bars coming up. You can either do it vertically like this, or you can do it horizontally. So they will show you, with using bars, you know, what you have on the x-axis and what you have on the y-axis. So maybe this is like the number of people in a state, and maybe this is, you know, um, the, uh, the number of pets they had, or whatever the information is. A bar graph is a great way to organize the data. You can also use it um, just points um, on a graph. You can graph a function if you have, you know, y and x coordinates, there's two points. You can graph, you know, maybe a line. You can also, if you have scattered points, we often graph a line that kind of represents the direction that those points are going in on the graph. Um, you can, you know, even just graph it on a number line. It depends on what the information is that you're looking at, and then you can choose the type of graph that fits it best. There's also a pie, um, gra a graph of a circle, you can see this a lot, a pie chart. Maybe one quarter of the people have dogs, maybe a half of the people have cats, and then maybe there's small percentages that have birds and rats, and this shows you a different way that, um, to graph the data that we see pretty commonly in our everyday lives. I'm Rachel, and thank you for learning with us today.